What's up, YouTube? I'm going to do a crate top uh, review here. And this is the Imperial Knife M7S. Uh, it's, it's modeled after the M7 Bayonet. And the S is for survival. Uh, I'll show you there. This is our little booklet on it, I guess. This knife was given to me. So I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. It's a pretty cool knife to have. Uh, I'll go through all everything it has here I'll read you a little bit out of this book and you can check it out for yourselves <clears throat> Says uh, just the introduction Congratulations your m7s survival knife is a genuine article Manufactured to the exacting u.s. Government specifications by Imperial knife the premier U.S. manufacturer of the military sporting and household cutlery since 1916. The M7S utilizes a, the ultimate functional, functional strategy in a survival tool. Simplicity of this design and quality of workmanship. Because the, the survival gear is contained separately in the custom fitted pockets on the sheath, the knife never needs to be disassembled. The risk of losing essential parts of the knife is completely eliminated and the knife is ready for use at all times. Unlike any other survival knife, the heavy duty permanent full tang construction of the M7S has been thoroughly proven in the field from Iwo Jima to Granada. So there's our introduction pretty cool little booklet that they got there there's that what I just read and then uh, this has got the parts and as a knife the, the the butt has a you know the claw hammer on it uh, saw on the blade let's see the guard has the screwdriver tips um, serrated tip yeah it's got a little extra serrations on the tip on one end uh, the handle is just like that hard uh, plastic um, let's see this sheet is you know there it is <laughs> not really anything special uh, leg strap yeah it has a compass uh, the mag bar the ring saw the matches the uh, flint striking pad it must be inside the package I never opened it yet the sewing needles and fishing line hooks and sinkers so there it is <clears throat> the blade it just says it's a uh, well here here's the next page here just a high carbon steel blade um, I think I seen something that was a 440 C but um, I'm not 100 percent sure on that I've just seen that somewhere else online. Uh, yeah, there's a saw, the handle, screwdriver tips, the heavy duty sheath, compass, which is, yeah, it's alright, I guess. It's a little cheapo compass, I guess. The saw, and then the rest of the gear that comes with it. That's yeah, pretty cool. I like this. There's the booklet that was with it. 1985. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> so there's that. <clears throat> I've never used a blade or anything yet. Yeah, stuck it in the ground, I think, once when I was taking a photo of it, but Let's see if we can show that serration there. Yeah, you can see on there. Got like an extra fine serrations there. And then there, their saw. I don't know how well that works. I've seen some guy cutting with one on YouTube. It looked like it did okay, but you know, you'd be better off with an actual saw, of course. There's the, the Imperial. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm surprised the condition. It was pretty much. A, Unused. I put oil on the blade. That's what all that is. Here's that 
I call a hammer. I guess you call that a hammer. But I don't know, I'd be afraid to break it off, but supposedly everything's built for survival. And the screwdriver tips would be easier to see them this way. You know, standard in the Phillips. Which is I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, I don't know how well you can use the Phillips or whatever, but I guess it's possible. Yeah, I don't know, it comes pretty sharp. I like how the blade's already black. Yeah, it's just a pretty cool knife. Kind of looks like a like a dagger at the double end. Alright, the sheath <clears throat> is let me put that down first. That's the that's the fire uh the mag bar and the with the fire steel on it. It's pretty awesome. It's cool that they still have that available. And then uh it's like a cheapo survival knife. It comes with the uh, the other gear. I think the matches are falling apart in there, maybe over time or whatever, but kind of cool. Yeah, it's just Velcro on the sheath. It's two pockets. This one here actually says the Imperial on it. And I think it's, yeah, it just had the compass in there. Says Imperial on it. And a little rough to open, I guess. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a cheap compass I had as a kid, but it works. Nothing special really about it, I guess. Yeah, overall, it's just, uh, for what it is, when it was made and what they're going after, I think it's pretty cool. From the pictures I've seen online, it looks like that, uh, that M7 bayonet a lot. They just have the little ring down here instead. But, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll try it out or not because I kind of like keeping it the way it looks. But I, uh, the part of me that wants to try every, every knife out, I want to beat this thing down pretty much. <laughs> see if it is a survival knife. But we'll see. I don't know. I see some of them selling online anywhere from 60 to 150 depending on what kind of stuff they have with it. Yeah, I think this is the the survival knife that they're talking about. You know, the cheap old survival knife that you can probably buy for like five bucks. Who even knows? They store everything in the handle. I believe it's got everything in there. It's stuffed in there. A couple extra things too. But yeah, I don't I don't use it. I gave it to my daughter. She liked it, so let's try to sharpen it up and. Yeah, that's a that's a real hard task as it is. <laughs> it's almost like a toy. But anyway, that's a, a quote unquote survival knife. And this one would be a step up, I guess. But yeah, like what I was saying, it'll looking like a like a dagger or short short sword, something of that nature. It reminds me of a story in the Bible of uh, a guy named Ehud. And this would be in Judges uh, chapter 3, starting at verse 12. And the children of Israel again did evil in the sight of the Lord. So the Lord strengthened Eglon king of Moab against Israel, because they have done evil in the sight of the Lord. Then he gathered, gathered to himself people of Ammon and Amalek, 
and went and defeated Israel and took possession of the city of Palms. So the children of Israel served Agalon king of Moab eighteen years. But when the children of Israel cried out to the Lord, the Lord raised up and a deliverer for them, Ehud, the son of Gera, the Benjaminite, a left-handed man. That's the part that uh, that really struck me because I am left-handed, even though I'm grabbing this knife with my right. But I got my Bible on my left, which is probably more important, I guess, as it should be. <laughs> I'm just trying to move some of the stuff in the way. But the story uh, has always caught my attention because of that the left-handed part and also because of the part coming up so I'll keep, continue reading then uh, by him the children of Israel sent tribute to Eglon king of Moab now Ehud made himself a dagger it was double-edged and a cubit in length I think the cubit is like your whole arm length so yeah it's I mean it would be a little bit longer than that for sure. Could have been arm to shoulder. I don't really remember the exact uh, specs of the cube. They'd I'd have to look it up again. But yeah, it's pretty pretty wild though that they they mentioned that. I'll read it again. He said, "Now Ehud made himself a dagger, and it was double edged and a cubit in length, and fastened it <clears throat> under his clothes on his right thigh." So he brought the tribute to Eglon king of Moab. Now Eglon was a very fat man. This also kind of caught my attention too because I just found it uh, weird that they had mentioned that. And when he had finished presenting the tribute, he sent away the people who had carried the tribute. But he himself turned back the stone images that were at Gilgal. And said, I have a secret message for you, O king. He said, Keep silence. And all who were attended him went out from him. So Ehud came to him. And I was sitting upstairs in his cool, private chamber. Then Ehud said, I have a message for, from God for you. I think that's pretty awesome. I have a message from God for you. So he arose from his seat. Then Ehud reached with his left hand, took the dagger from his right thigh, and thrust it into his belly. Even the hilt went in after the blade, and the fat closed over the blade. For he did not draw the dagger out of his belly, and his entrails came out. Then Ehud went out through the porch, and shut the doors of the upper room behind him, and locked them. And when he had gone out, Eglon's servants came to look, and to their surprise, the doors of the upper room were locked. So they said, He is probably attending to his needs in the cool chamber. So they waited till they, had, they were embarrassed, and still he had not opened the doors of the upper room. Therefore they took the key and opened them. And there was their master, fallen dead on the floor. But he who had escaped while they delayed, and passed beyond the stone images, and escaped to Sarai. And it, and it happened when he arrived, he blew the trumpet in the mountains of Ephraim. And the, the children of Israel went down with him from the mountains, and he led them. Then he said to them, Follow me, for the Lord has delivered your enemies, the Moabites, into your hand. So they went down after him, seized the fords of the Jordan, leading to the Moab. Sorry, leading to Moab. It did not allow anyone to cross over. And at that time they killed about 10,000 men of Moab, all stout men of valor. Not a man escaped. So Moab was subdued that day under the hand of Israel, and the land had rest for 80 years. So yeah, I just think that's a pretty awesome story. That's something that you don't often hear. I've, I've yet to hear that story in church. But uh, I like reading it. It's pretty cool. It's just something that's, I don't know, maybe the knife community needs to hear, remember who their Lord is. And I just think that's, uh, I don't know, 
it was just an awesome story. The left handed, the dagger. Just I have a message from you or a message to you from the Lord. All awesome things. Well, that's about it for this video, guys. So uh be blessed. Stay safe. May may God just keep keep you and if you're not walking with the Lord, I, I encourage you to just pick up that word and dig in and learn about Jesus and and the rest of the people like Ehud. I'll try to continue to get these uh, videos and, and, and tie them in with the reviews. I uh, just I hope you guys like and, and uh, will subscribe and learn some more. Give you thanks. Good night.